गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद एक्सरसाइज 9.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फाइंड द सेकेंड टर्म ऑफ अ प्रपोर्शन हुज फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ टर्म्स आर 54, 90 एंड 45. नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द सेकेंड टर्म सो लेट द सेकेंड टर्म बी एक्स नाउ लेट्स राइट ऑल द नंबर्स 54 first term second term we are assuming it as x third term 90 and fourth term 45 now let's write it in proportion 54 ratio x proportion 90 ratio 45 now using the formula product of means is equal to product of extremes so 90 multiply by x is equal to 54 multiply by 45 Now finding the value of x for that we have to shift 90 from this side to here so here it is in multiplication so it will be in division so 54 into 45 upon 90 now let's reduce these numbers by 45 45 ones are 45 twos are so result is 54 upon 2 and finally on reducing these numbers final answer is 27 So the second term is twenty-seven. Now ninth question: A worker is paid rupees six hundred twenty-five for five days. For how many days he will be paid rupees one thousand five hundred? Now here, first we are assuming the number of days for which worker will be paid rupees one thousand five hundred. Let it be x. now we are finding the ratio of days and money paid to the worker now 5 days money is 625 and for x number of days money paid is rupees 1500 now according to the question we are writing it in proportion so here number of days 5 and money paid for that 625 they are in ratio then proportion now number of days they are x ratio money paid 1500 so we have to write it in proportion form so first of all days and money paid then again days money paid now let's use the formula Product of means is equal to product of extremes. So six hundred twenty-five multiplied by x is equal to one thousand five hundred multiplied by five. Let's find the value of x. So six hundred twenty-five will be in denominator. So one thousand five hundred multiplied by five upon six hundred twenty-five. Let's reduce these numbers by five. So five ones are and here five one hundred twenty-five times. Six hundred twenty-five. So result is one thousand five hundred upon one twenty-five, and on reducing these numbers, answer is twelve. That means money paid for twelve days is rupees one thousand five hundred. Coming to tenth question, the cost of five kg of onions is rupees hundred. So what is the cost of twelve kg of onions at the same rate? Now here again, let's assume the cost of twelve kg of onions be rupees x. Now let's write it in ratio form: weight of onions and cost. So we are comparing these two. So weight of onions for five kg, cost is hundred rupees. Now for twelve kg, cost we are assuming it as x. and now according to the question we will write it in proportion form so first of all weight of onions 5 kg and cost is 100 rupees now proportion here weight of onions 12 kg and cost is x now let's use the formula product of means is equal to product of extremes so here 5 multiply by x is equal to 100 multiply by 12 now finding the value of x by transposing it and reducing these numbers result is 20 multiplied by 12 it is 240 so the cost of 12 kg of onions is rupees 240